What's up gamers, Joe here. Let's talk about Rogue. Double cross, two mana secret. When your opponent spends all their mana, draw two cards. I think this card's alright. I want to give it 4 out of 5. It's not 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5 would be draw 3. Um, it's pretty good. It's easy to activate. Of course there's better two mana draw twos. Such as the card in, um, in Mage. But this is still a good card. Because you can, you can proc it pretty easily. Your opponent's gonna spend all their mana. <laughs> That's why it's pretty good. Kidnap. Two mana secret. After your opponent plays a minion, stuff it in a 0-4 sack. Also four stars. This deny- I believe it adds it to their hand after. Return your opponent's kidnap minion to their hand. Yeah, like... They waste the mana playing it to do nothing. Like, you're making them commit a turn, and then they still have to destroy the sag. Like, that's really useful. The only reason it's 4 instead of 5, I mean, the sack is killable still, right? So, not like it completely denies it. And Sticky Situation, 2 mana secret, of course. If your opponent casts a spell... Summon a spider. 3-4 with stealth. Also really good. I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. And together, these work pretty good. This one, they have to play a minion. This one, they have to play a secret. This one... Are <laughs> minion, spell, spend all their mana. These are all really generic triggers. These are all really easy to activate. If, if they're looking for it. They probably can't trigger them all on the same turn. Which is going to help their legendary. But I think together they're really good. Because you're bound to activate at least one. If they're testing them all. And then 4 mana 3, 4. Battle cry casts a secret. Combo cast 2. Very, very, very good. I want to get... I'm giving this one 5 stars. Oh my god, I blew through those secrets. <laughs> but this guy is really good. Imagine getting 2 of these. Well, you will get 2 of these. Rogue doesn't have any other secrets. <laughs> Like, now your opponent can't spend all their mana, they can't play a minion, they can't play a spell. So they can't do anything. <laughs> like, they will trigger one of these. And all of these options are really good. Very, very, very good. Because, I mean, they're just so easy to activate. And they're decent value. Plus, when you're cheating them out, that's even better. And then finally, the piece de resistance... Halkais? 4 mana, 5, 4. Okay stats. It's a reverse yeti. Death Rattle. If you control a secret, you store his soul inside it. And when that secret triggers, you resummon him. That's kind of insane. Like, so, if they want to kill him, they'll probably activate the secret in the first place, yeah. But if you have two of them out, I think they're bound to, like, I think he'll get stored inside of them. It's bound to happen. And if you get him even once, like an additional time, I think he's really good. That's the fact that, like, once he's stored, your opponent won't, they really won't want to activate your secret then. So, like, say you have double cross, Halkais inside a double cross. Like, as soon as they spend all their mana, you draw two and summon a 5-4. Like, they don't want that to activate. So as soon as Haokai is stored, your opponent's going to feel super scared. And it reminds me a lot of, like, Graybo. And that you have to get rid of the things that ha that they jump into in order to fully get rid of him. And Graybo wasn't OP, but he was annoying. And that's the point of this. Secrets are already annoying. But when you add another layer to it... That's just gonna... That's just too much. <laughs> Halkais is just another layer added to secrets to add even more, like, mental games. <laughs> Next, we got Serrated Bone Spike. Two mana, deal three damage to a minion. If it dies, your next card this turn costs two less. Almost like a zero mana, deal three to a minion. I'm gonna give it one star. I don't think Rogue needs this. 
Like, yeah, they could use a little bit of removal, but I think... I think that's the least of their concern. I think they're more worried about doing other stuff than removing minions with this. Like, this would probably be good in, like, Demon Hunter. This is probably a Demon Hunter card. I, don't, I just don't see Rogue really using it or running it in the first place. Now, if it went face, if this went face, Rogue would love this. Because then you could, if you don't need a clear minion, you can just chuck it at the enemy's face. But I feel like that'd be OP then. I don't know. I don't think Rogue really wants this. Maybe I'm just tripping. And then 3 mana, 4-3. Ghastly Gravedigger. Battle cry if you control a secret. Choose a card in your opponent's hand to shuffle into their deck. That's really good. I'm going to give it 4 stars. That's really good. Like, this is so much easier than the other chick. Like... Than the Demon Hunter card. And you can run two of these. Like what? Though that's comparing it to a bad card. Right? Power creeping bad cards is alright. Because then you can have good cards. Uh, so like. First of all you get to see their hand. And then like. They're not going to be able to properly. Like deal with your. Secrets. A big brain play. Get rid of the cheap cards. Get rid of the cheap minions so that they only have big minions to proc kidnap. Right? You get rid of the stuff that they use to proc your secrets. And then, like, what are they going to do? They gotta proc your secrets. <laughs> so, huge mind games. Just love it. It's going to be fun. I think Secret Rogue's going to be a lot of fun this, this set. 4 mana, 3, 4. Mm, Draco. Equip a 1-3 dagger, plus 1 attack for each other card you played this turn. I think this card's pretty good. I want to give her 4 out of 5. See, Edwin was bad. Or, Edwin's alright. But Edwin's not insane, because you can't really use him right away. While this one... You can use this chick right away. You can go face 3 times. So, what... Like, and this is 4 mana. Like... Even if you just played like three cards before this, that's that's gonna be really good. Four mana, three four, equip a four three dagger. That's really good still. That's insane. A two three dagger would probably be like good or like baseline, right? Like coin her out on three. Coin if you coin her out on three, she's all right. So I think she's gonna be good. She she's gonna be like a finisher maybe or deal huge chunks of face damage. And this card actually goes directly in the same deck. Sinstole Graveyard. Two mana, summon a 1-1 one, one Stealth Ghost. That gets plus one, plus one for each other card you played. This one's alright. Three out of five. It's only good because it goes in the same deck. So that way, it's easier to make this deck. Because now, not only will Draco be your payoff, but Graveyard's your payoff too. So now you don't have to just only draw her. So Edwin, Draco, Graveyard, they all go together in this, like, cheap deck. Maybe Serrated gets run in it. I wanna say that's stupid, though, but who knows. So yeah, you chuck out a bunch of cheap crap, and you get big things in return. So I think we're finally reaching this mass that it could finally work. <laughs> and Door of Shadows, one mana spell. Draw a spell. Infuse two. Add a temporary copy of it to your hand. Ooh. This goes in a lot of decks. This goes in all these decks. This card's going to be run. I actually, I was going to say four stars. But I'm going to say five stars. I think every rogue runs this card. For sure. This can double your secrets. This can, this just doubles your spells. Like, oh, but then they'll know what secrets. So what? They still got to play into it. Like, <laughs> I think it's going to be run in every single rogue deck. I think it's going to be nerfed to 2 mana or to infuse 3. Honestly. I'm just I'm just th I'm looking into the future. This card's going to get nerfed. I see it now. Come back to this video when it happens. This card's getting nerfed. You just like okay, Moonlight Guidance is 2 mana for a really like backwards effect. 
So you gotta play the temporary one first. This one, I guess you gotta play the temporary first, but <laughs> I think it's still really good though, because you can still use it to draw. I don't know. It's a cheaper Moonlight Guidance. There you go. Instead of discovering, it's a spell, which may be even better, because then you you can you kind of know what you're getting anyway. So, I think it'll be really good. And that's it for Rogue. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.